What's up, people? Hope you guys are doing good. As you can see, my room is completely empty. Uh, we're in the process of moving out the flat right now. So, uh, yeah, this video is just about that kind of process of wrapping up the summer um, or kind of going into the summer, I guess. But yeah, I just wanted to give a big thank you to all the people who have subscribed, who have showed love. I think my last video got on the algorithm to some extent. And I think from that, I made like 30 new subscribers, which is pretty fucking ridiculous to me. It might not seem like a lot, but every single message, every single DM, every single comment, it genuinely means the world. Um, and, you know, I'll talk about these things later, like in the video, but um, yeah, no, it just it genuinely blows my mind how, you know, my art can reach, you know, the hearts of just a couple hundred people, uh, which is genuinely insane. Uh, so thank you guys for that. And I hope that I won't let you guys down with these uploads. Anyways, hope you enjoy. I've always felt a strange guilt whenever I share my art. In a medium so rooted in self, how can we expect it to be seen by others? These weeks I've learned quite the opposite. In each message I read, in each zine I sent out, I once again feel the overwhelming sonder of this human experience. We truly cannot tread alone. It is unavoidable, but beautiful at the same time. I am thankful for these eyes. They see the world and tether it to its people. And what are goals without the people driving them? I try to keep this in mind as I walk through struggle alongside my friends. These seemingly unsurmountable walls crumble with a single push of kindness. Sometimes, being told you can do one more pull-up is all you need to remind yourself you are not alone in this world. On each commute home, I've made an effort to put my phone away and simply observe the life that surrounds me. We simply share too much with one another to drown in this endless void of consumption. It is this realization that's helped me be one with this world. Even a cloudy day breathes a life so dense. I return home to face the humbling passage of time once again. As I endlessly stack these cardboard boxes atop one another, I sift through an unending web of objects, or more so, memories, that bring me back to the same good old days that I'm living in now. The times that mean the most are inevitably those in love, in tandem with the world, a dance with life itself. How does art tie into this all? I've seemed to find the answer in this dimly lit venue, in all of these exuberant sounds. These images, films, and sounds, they only come to life in companionship, and that is such a beautiful thing. <laughs> 